In this lesson, we are going to see how to prepare the source system for cloning. So, what we are going to do in this lesson? First, we are going to run the adpreclone.pl script on database and application tier. And then we are going to take the backups of both database and application. Then finally, we are going to copy the files to the system of target. Hi. In this lesson, we are going to see. Hi. 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 In this lesson, we are going to see how to prepare the source system for cloning. In the previous lesson, we have seen how to prepare the target systems for cloning. And now, in this lesson, we are going to first run adpreclone.pl script, which is the preclone script to prepare the database and application tier for cloning. So, once we run the preclone script, then we are going to take the necessary backups of database and application tier. Then we'll finally copy the files that is a backup files to the target node. So we're going to use the activity guide as usual for this. So in the activity guide in the previous lesson, we have used the 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 uh, that is configuring the host. So now we are going to use the second section that is prepare for cloning the source system. It's about the source system. So what you have to do is log into the source system. In my case, this is the source system. So let's check whether the database is running or not first. So the DB is running right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to U01, install apps at 1210. So here I have the environment file of database. So first I'll run the preclone script on database. Then I'll run the preclone script on application tier. So once, I've, once you set the environment, go to apps little scripts, context name. And here you can see a script called adpreclone.pl. So run Perl adpreclone.pl db tier. Since it's database, you have to run db tier. So give the apps password. So it's complete. It, it usually takes uh, less than a, less than two minutes for the db tier part. So since now database tier has been uh, you know prepared for cloning. So what I'll do is I'll start a backup of the db home just the db home not the data files so the data files what i'm doing is instead of compressing instead of using any r1 backup i'm using a simple cold backup so i'm going to directly copy the files from source to target so for the db home i'm going to create a tar file here so let's see the space first so i have 152 gb which is sufficient so i'll simply create star hyphen cf so db home dot tar 1210 and i'm going to run it in the background so let us see if it's running fine. So it's running fine. Now I've opened another terminal to run the preclone script on the application tier as well. So I'm going to go to u01 install apps. And here we have the .ebs apps.env. To run the AD preclone.pl on application tier, first you have to start the admin server. Give the password of admin server, the weblogic admin password, and then the app password. So the admin server has been started successfully. So now what we have to do is to run the preclone script on application tier as well. Remember, though the database tier preclone script has been completed within a couple of minutes, the application tier preclone script might take between 40 minutes to one hour or even a little more based on your CPU. So alone, let us run the script. Perl adpreclone.pl apps tier. So give the apps password and the weblogic password. So the preclone in application tier is also complete enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the admin server.
we have already taken the backup of the database uh, home now what we're going to do is we're going to take a backup of the EBS apps directory in the FS1 file system so in in release 12.2 as you know there are two file systems which is FS1 and FS2 so whatever is the current run file system you have to take the backup of the EBS apps directory which I'm highlighting here so you can see that there is uh, u01 apps install apps fs1 so here we can see ebs app directory so what i'm going to do is uh, let's have a look at the size of ebs apps it's 34 gb so not just the space so we have enough space so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply create ebs or simply fs1.tar and ebs apps so now the application tier backup is running so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back to uh, the database tier so what i'll do now is uh, set the environment of uh, the database tier first and i'll stop the services you can go to scripts you can run stop db.sh In the meanwhile what i'll do is i'll i'll connect to my database node of target so this is a target database node and you can see that there's a file system called u02 here i'm going to make oracle the owner of the u02 file system oracle o install u02 done so now let's change the password of oracle once I log in as Oracle, go to U02, and here I'll make a directory called, let's say, for example, dev. Go to dev, and here I'll create a directory db home underscore one and data. So, what I'll do is I'll extract the database home here. And I'll keep all the data files in the data directory. So first, what I'll do, I'll go to data, and I'm going to SCP all the files that is data files to this location first. So let's go back, and we can see here data directory. So this is my data directory. The service are already stopped now, so we can simply copy the files now. So I'll give SCP at NAR star to Oracle. At rate 192, 168, the IP address of uh, this is 196. Colon. Let's take the location here. And paste. Give the password. So now it is copying all the files. Let us verify if we are receiving the files or not. Yes, we are receiving the files. And once the data files are complete, then I'm in the meanwhile, we can also check that the tar file is being created right now for the application. So once the data file copy is complete, I'm going to start copying the application files as well. So the files have been copied successfully. So now what, I, what I'll be doing now is uh, I'll be copying the application type backup, which is uh, fs1.tar also to the application node. So let us go to the application node once. So this is the application node. So I'll log in as, uh, I'll change the password of APLMGR first. Done. So log in as APLMGR. And let us see the permissions of u01 first. So let us do let us try to create one simple directory here. So main directory u0. I'll change the permissions of uh, the entire u01 because I'm going to basically use this only for um, application node. I can safely give the permissions to the entire directory. So done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run ls of ltr u01. Uh, let's add 
slash and you can see that uh, 01 is owned by APLMGR. So now let's log in by login to APLMGR and go to 01 and I'll make a directory called dev. So in dev, I'll give, I'll keep a directory called uh, FS1 and I'll also create FS2. So I'll go to FS1 and I'm going to copy my EBS apps star file which I've actually created uh, on the source system. So this source system, so I'm going to run fs1.r and uh, let us copy to APLMGR at the rate uh, 192, 168, 0.198 slash colon uh, let's go to 01 dev fs1. Click on uh, enter give the password that's it so i can also copy simultaneously the db.r file which is uh, the oracle home which i have created here so let me let me scp this one as well so i have the cp command ready here so i'll just uh, try to scp only this one right now dbhome.r and uh, this one i'll copy into dev let us see the db node structure here so I've got DB home one actually. So what I'll do, I'll put it under, uh, because I've compressed uh, 1210 directory actually. So what I'll do now is uh, instead of DB home one, let us remove this, RMDR DB home one. We don't need it. So we'll copy to the U01 dev itself. Here we'll extract that file. So this will be U02 dev, correct. Let's verify the path, U02 dev. So now this completes copying all the files of your database and application tier from source to your target. So now once we have all the files that are required on the target system, so basically we have two node, two node uh, EBS set up on the target, one database tier and one application tier nodes. And uh, on the DB node, we have, uh, we, have, we have already copied the data files and now we are copying the Oracle home. And on the application tier, we have basically compressed the EBS apps directory from the current run file system and I'm now, I've done already the SCP here as you can see.